Oh, my God, you're a lesbian. Oh, Cara, that's why you're not into me. This is, this is, this is great news. I'm and you not gay. I'm Supergirl, the blue and red abscess tooth and the otherwise gleaming smile that is National City. Seems like overkill, especially since no one is trying to get in there. And who would that be? You know, who is ombre enough to puncture the chastity belt of steel? Or is what's required a softer touch? I mean, she does kind of give off a sapphic vibe with that big old butch S chest plate. I have to get back to work. And by work, do you mean James? No, especially not now. His ex showed up, Lucy Lane. As in Lois Lane? Her sister. She's gorgeous, she's smart, smells nice. Hell, I want to date her. Look, I don't know anything about romantic love. I, I have not had the best luck with it. But if I ever really had it, I think I'd fight for it. Seeing you and Lucy makes me think that I'm never gonna have what you two have. Someone who knows everything about me. My perfect partner at a game night. When Superman put Lex in jail, I vowed to take back my family's company. To rename it Elcor. Make it a force for good. I'm just a woman trying to make a name for herself outside of her family. Can you understand that? Yeah. I didn't see anything when I x-ray visioned the room. Yeah, me neither. What do you think? Uh, I've learned through hard experience not to believe anything a Luther says. Yeah, I know I'm not a reporter or anything, but I kind of believed her. <sighs> You're safe now. What the hell was that? Someone's trying to kill you. Well, like I said, I'm not a reporter. You could have fooled me. Administration, and since her appointment, she's made a big impact. Lena? Cara. Hi. <laughs> Hi, it's, it's really good to see you. If the weather's getting you down, don't worry, it never lasts. Hey, no, I'm actually, no, I, I miss it. Bye. Some things happened that made me rethink my position. Do tell. <laughs> I still think alien amnesty is a good thing, but there are bad aliens out there. <laughs> well, I'm glad you can see from my point of view. <laughs> I thought you could use some fried sugary goodness in your life. You eat donuts, right? Um, well, I am human. <laughs> I haven't seen you eat a thing all day. OG from earlier, low blood sugar and all. Oh, look at this. Thanks for taking care of me. Right. Now we're even. So my office is, is overflowing with flowers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Yeah, I did. 
Supergirl told me that it was you, Sanders. I don't know how to thank you. Well, that's what friends are for. No one's ever stood up for me like that. Now you have someone that will stand up for you always. Well, Supergirl may have saved me, but Cara Danvers, you are my hero. The Flash may be the city's hero, but you, Barry Allen, you're my hero. Here, but let me ask you this, right? Would you rather have an NSYNC reunion or JT and Britney back together? Oh, my OTP. <laughs> That's an impossible question to answer. Yeah. And you're cruel for asking. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes my Luther jeans just shine through. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for catching lunch with me. Yeah, well, since I canceled on you the last three times and you said you couldn't get away, I figured you were worth the extra effort. Yeah, what's keeping you so busy? <sighs> Top secret. Intriguing. I, as soon as I can tell anyone anything, you will get an exclusive. I'm working with a new partner. Mm. Yeah, she, she's... Fantastic. It's it's like having a mentor, you know? You'll you'll love her. Promise. You gotta give me something. I have to have something to look forward to. Okay, something to look forward to. What do you know about quantum entanglement? Quantum what? Polyatomic onions? <laughs> well, when you see what we're doing with them, it will blow you away. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You grilled me. I did. Uh, this is Cara Danvers. She is one of the best reporters in National City. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I should go. Mm. Do you really not believe in magic? I believe in you. No source, no lead. What about Lena? What? She's having dinner with Jack. How did you know that? She called, and she was hoping that you would talk her out of it. We're going. I just don't think she meant in person. Is the only... No, come on. I, this just feels like stalking. No, it's journalism. Okay. Very creepy journalism. You look stunning, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. Are you guys eating here? Why are we eating, eating here? here? What uh, a complete and utter coincidence. <laughs> Miss Danvers. Yeah, uh, this is my boyfriend, Mike. 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 Where did we join? Oh, uh, I'm gonna sit here. Cara. I appreciate the rescue, but it's not necessary. That's what friends are for. So, Jack, how's the Biomax rollout going? You're trying to get me in your crosshairs, Miss Danvers. Reporter's job is never done. I can respect it. Uh, Biomax is going wonderfully so far. So how did you know it was ready? Did you uh, do any trials, human trials? It's all public record, if you're curious. Uh, the sun came up, and there was a flock of starlings going by. And they were all moving in perfect sync. And I would never have gotten there if I hadn't been thinking about you. Anyway, I, I was also wondering if yeah, maybe I wanted another to... time. Lena, are, are you... Um... Yeah, I, I think Jack and I need to talk. But... We... We are out. There's nothing gets in the way of romance. I will not let that get in the way of us having the perfect date. I was thinking maybe Italian. I could fly there. And... It's, it's okay. Let me guess. Is this Brainy? This morning he brought me my favorite breakfast, and it was perfect. But I don't know. Isn't this a little excessive? Uh, maybe giving food is Brainy's language of love. I don't know. Merci. Au revoir. You brought me coffee eclairs? From Café Rousselet on the Champs Elysees. I know they're your favorite. And the cappuccinos. Did you really go to Pave in Milan? It didn't take me that long. I flew to Paris, Milan, Dublin. I got all of her favorite things. It was um, great. Space, no, right? no, um, there's, there's just, it's okay, there's, there's nothing to be afraid of, right? We've been through worse scrapes than this together, okay? Right, so wait, wait, Lena, um, there, we can go up. The air vent, yeah, yeah. Denial is a very powerful thing, isn't it? It's been standing right in front of you all this time, and you chose not to see it. 
Danvers is Supergirl. I saw how you risked your life to expose Lex's crimes. I'm uh, Supergirl. I've always been Supergirl. I should have told you so long ago, I know that. I just kept making excuses because you've been hurt so many times and... I convinced myself that I was protecting you. And then one day you were so angry with me, with, with Supergirl. But you still loved Kara. And I just kept thinking, if I could be Kara, just Kara, that I could keep you as a friend. I was selfish and scared, and I didn't want to lose you. So I kept pretending. And I never stopped. I am so sorry. Please say something. They sent me to Earth just before Krypton was destroyed. Please say something. What about Lena Luthor? What about her? Lena's mother took the Kryptonian virus and synthesized it on Earth. If Lena is working with her... Lena was shocked to see Henshaw. He would have killed her, too. Eh, the Luthers are pretty good actors. Or, well, sociopaths. Either way, they, they know how to fool people. No, no. I looked into Lena's eyes. She doesn't know anything about Cadmus and her mother. I know it. Oh, what an awful thing to have to do. Well, the Luthers have never shied away from doing awful things. Yeah, but she's not like them. She knows Lillian is evil. She's doing the right thing, even though she still loves her mother. What she did was brave. If you say so. That's that's not me, okay? I, I don't know where you got that, but it, but it's not me. You're under arrest for aiding and abetting a felon accessory after the fact conspiracy. Hold on, Maggie, slow down. Just let her explain. Stay out of it, Kara. Wait, you're you're putting Lena Luther on the cover? She doesn't need to be a front page story. She's arguably the most famous name in National City, Danvers, from the Torch Brothers in prison. Of course, I'm putting her on the cover. She's a Luther. But she didn't do it. Have you seen the video? Are you letting a budding friendship corrupt your reporting? Who's got a confirmation bias now? We have to find out where he's taken Lena and help her. What is it going to take for you to realize that Lena is a criminal? She's not the victim. She got the kryptonite. He broke her out of prison. Lena is not a member of Cadmus. She's not. She stopped the gang with alien weapons. She she saved Alex's life when Corbin tried to kill her. She shot Corbin, and then her crazy mom turned Corbin into Metallo. So that could have been the plan the entire time. We have to start treating Lena Luther like a hostile. The evidence is too overwhelming. When? If you watch that video, I know you'll find something. I did. It's it's clean. Then find something to prove her innocent. Everything we've seen so far says the exact opposite. Well, she's my friend, and I believe in her. But I don't think this is what it looks like. She saved me from Ramakan in the fortress, and even at Lex's bunker. The cannons were loaded with kryptonite, but she didn't use them. I can still fix this. I can get through to her if I could just talk to her. Worldwide total control in an instant. But we don't know her intentions. She's trying to make people less violent. You use Myriad to impose your will on the world population, not save it. She's hurting. All she's experienced are people hurting each other the same way I did. Clearly, she thinks she's doing good. I can still save her. You don't know that. Yes, I do! This... It, this isn't just two friends that are in a fight. This is someone who has turned a corner. Oh, but this is not her. This is not Arlena. Well, who is Arlena? I mean, she knew that Lex was out of prison, and she said nothing. She kept Sam Arias locked in, in a sub-basement at L Corp, knowing that she was Rain, and she said nothing. She knows how to make kryptonite, and she kept that hidden from us. Lena 
is leading her own double life. Oh, you are making her sound like a Luther. Maybe that's because she is one. We can't put our faith in some distant hope that she's gonna do the right thing. And when every single action that she has taken up until now points to the contrary. Okay, we have to stop her, Car. The safety of the world depends on that. She is not Lex. I will not treat her like a villain. I know you won't. That's why I have to. Supergirl, they've locked onto every school, hospital, and municipal building in the city. They're, they're gonna destroy everything. I'd like to think that if it came down to a choice between Lois and the world, but I don't think I could. I can't hold both! Save the chemicals! Not me! No, I'm not gonna drop you! Let me go! Now! Lois, hold on. Let me go. That's insane, Lois. Please. Let her go. Take my life, let her live. Trace the call. If you've done anything to Lena, I... You'll what? You go near Lois again, I will destroy you all. If that's the case, then we are never going to find her. But now, here it is. My greatest fear just staring me right in the face. I have to save Lena. I'm Cara Danvers. Some of you may know me as a reporter from Catco Worldwide Media, but I am also <laughs> Cara Zorel of Krypton. I am Supergirl. Cara, wait, wait, wait! You you can't go out there. We're on lockdown. There's no going in or uh, out. Well, sh should I hide somewhere? Is there like a closet or somewhere where I can lay okay. low? Cara, the safest place for you to be right now is with me. I know Mercy's dangerous, but I know how to handle her. Okay. Look, I know that you're nervous, Smallville, but you gotta remember, I grew up around Green Berets and Navy Seals, not cornstalks and Jersey cows. You stick with me, I'll protect you. You'll be fine. Well, that was easy. Wanna try more of these toys? Don't hurt him! Just, just don't hurt him again! Before you go, it's a kryptonite shield. If Lex did bring out his back as Metallo, you're gonna need it. Thanks. Good luck. You too. If you want to get to Supergirl, you're gonna have to go through me. Kara, are you out of your mind? I just blurted it out. I wasn't thinking. But you should have seen how much pain she was in. And she's so traumatized by Lex's death. And the journals are the only way she can find closure. No. You're gonna call her right now and you're gonna tell her that you made a mistake. You're not doing it. Oh, I can't. No, what you can't do is break the law and steal federal property. Technically, I break the law all the time. I just broke into a supermax prison two months ago. Okay, that is totally different. That That's to serve justice, right? Okay, what you're talking about here is crossing that line for a friend. You're not seriously thinking of doing this, are you? What if I could change things? If I told Lena that I was Supergirl before Lex, maybe she would have reacted differently. I mean, isn't that worth a try? Changing history to save a friendship? Kara, I don't, I don't know. It's only because you're on the team that I'm here. Can't do it. What? I won't do it. It's wrong. Lena, people need help now. This, this is for the greater good. For the greater good? Do you hear yourself right now? That's not what I meant. I can't believe you would not help. 
Not if it means losing who we are in the process, because then we're no better than she is. I know that you are still processing the fact that you can use magic. And I know that I have been pushing you out of your comfort zone, but that's only because I believe in you. And I, I'm, I'm terrified. From everything you've told me about Nixley, he's more than just her magic. She is cunning and manipulative and cruel. And who does that remind you of? Lex. You've beat him before. And you will beat Nixley too, but not by doing whatever it takes to win. By doing the right thing. You're right. Use it to give Lex and Nixley more humanity. I run the risk of losing some of my own. Unless your magic can protect me. You protected me from losing a part of myself. You always do. Wow, this is breathtaking. It's our Krypton on Earth. So how does one ask for permission to marry on Krypton? The last time that Kara was in town, she told me in Kryptonian culture, the head of the house has to approve all life unions. Kara? Kara? Kara, are you okay? <sighs> I must have passed out. Oh, I hate flying. Clark! 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 Are you all right, Clark? What happened? I guess I must have fainted. Lena? It's me. It's Supergirl. It's Kara. Brainy, it's me. It's Nia. I can show you, make you feel what I feel. I won't fight you, Lena. <laughs> uh, I won't fight you. <laughs> Loss does strange things to my family, and I have lost a lot of people. Well, you're not gonna lose me. Look, just the thought of losing someone that important to me again. Hey, you're not gonna lose me. <laughs> well, now that you're here, we can divide up and play catchphrase. Yeah, Jean is making us switch up the usual teams. My house, my rules. But uh, you're with me, right? Always. Good. <laughs>